Good morning. My name is Susan Krasinski and today I'll be sharing with you how to cover an art frame with a piece of fabric. First of all, I'd like to show you what the outcome will be. Here is an art frame that's covered and then it has an art quilt with binding. So that's one option that you have. Another option is covering the art frame and not adding a binding, which is fun because um, it's less time consuming. You can cover all sizes of art frames down to, and there's even smaller art frames than these, but this gives you an idea of what art frames can look like with fabric coverings. So, to get started, I'd like you to focus on this. Cut the fabric two and a half inches larger than the dimension of the frame. And the example was a five by seven frame would be seven and a half by nine and a half. I have something uh, down so that uh, the mess will be contained and I can throw that away. I have a glue stick. The larger ones are much easier because the small ones take a lot of time and there is a factor of time, it dries quite quickly. Um, I like to hold the edge of the fabric and go around with a good one inch swath and here is where you wanna bring out your inner first grader and just really slop the glue on because it's um, annoying to not have all the edges covered. You see how I went over it several times because one swath like this doesn't cover it. You do it over and over several times and you just get as gooey as you possibly can. I tried tacky glue first and it's much more time consuming. And so the glue stick seems to work. Make sure you don't buy repositionable glue because that won't be permanent. I've had frames covered for over five years and they are still holding beautifully. So I think I have all the sides covered. I'm going to take my art frame and I can eye it pretty well to see that I get it in the center. Um, if you feel like measuring, do so quickly and it's also very gooey. So there's enough play that you don't have to be exact. I like to get rid of the most real estate possible, so I do my long edges first. I pull it up. I'm stretching it a little right now and pulling, 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 trying to get that as tight as I possibly can. And you s then I take the edges, I say fingers at the ready, plop. I get that nice and perpendicular across there. I squeeze four fox ears. You have two pointy ears there. You have two pointy ears here. Now these fox ears don't have any glue. So I never do this to people, but I do this to my fabric. I give it the middle finger. I put my middle finger behind those tabs. I'm just being a little bit comical so that you can remember what I'm telling you to do. Giving it the middle finger again. And now I'm ready to put the tabs down. Of course, the front ones have to go down first. And then the back ones pull up a little. And I've worked really hard to try to fold those over before. And my good friend that says, uh, hey, do it in a more easy way. I was just rubbing that on the edge of the table and it's good to go. Now, I just have to do the same thing in, with the other side. Four fox ears, middle finger. This is really pretty slick and, oops, I have to reposition that. Finger, all four tabs have lots of glue. Push them down, stretch a little, pull, pull a little bit, and then again at the edge of the table, voila, you have an art frame that's all covered.